Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we are talking rotaries. Uh, recently, I received a new rotary from one of my buddies, Jason Stevens, over at Mansfield Customs. Um, I have his previous version. This one is a newer one, very robust, but that's not what I really want to go into. Today we're going to talk about setting it up. So let's get into it. All right, so first of all, we are looking at light burn here. Um, so what you want to do when you're looking to set up your rotary, you want to jump into tools that's up here. You're going to drop down to rotary setup and open this window. There are several options here that you have to fill out. Um, for these roller is what I'm using, not a chuck, roller. Firstly, you would want to enable the ro rotary, make sure that your whole thing is set up to the laser so that way it's reading to the controller. Then you need to find these different things. So roller diameter. When I go over here, Jason's done a nice job and he actually gave me what the drive wheel diameter is. So 42 millimeters, that is these. So measure the diameter, put it in here. 42. Okay, and then the object diameter. What I've come to believe and what I understand is when you are using a roller, this does not matter. It, it, you could change it as many times you want, make it as small as you want, big as you want, it's not gonna change anything. But just for the sake of it, we're gonna put it in. Um, and then steps per rotation. So on here, he says 4,100. I know that that's not right, because my machine is just a little bit different, but I'm gonna show you how to figure out what those steps are. So we've already got this from our rotary. This is object diameter, which you may not, you will probably will not need with a roller. And then the circumference automatically changes. So now let's go over to the laser. We'll get this plugged in and I'll show you where to plug it in and then we'll figure out our steps. Okay, so now we're looking at my machine. My machine is an OM Tech Prenex machine. And what you do to install the rotary is over here in this compartment, this connection here is for the Y axis. What drives it this way and this way. We are going to disconnect that and that is where the rotary is gonna plug in. Then when we have the gantry here, the Y is the spinning of the cup. And then the X is the laser head moving side to side so that way it can engrave as the cup spins. Okay, got the bed lowered and the rotary in here. Now we'll go ahead, take the wire, plug it in here. And that's it. So now if I went up to the controller, hit the buttons for the Y axis, we'll see that the wheels will move. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a flexible tape and measure the circumference of the cup. So that way we can tell the program to spin the cup and we're gonna try and start on this point, tell the computer to spin the cup and get it all the way back to stop and that will help us to tell whether our steps are right. And we can increase or decrease from there. Okay, now I've got my cup loaded in here and I measured it and it is 317 millimeters. We're gonna put that in the software. Over here, I have for my previous rotary, 2050 as my steps for rotation. We're gonna leave that. We have enabled the rotary. So this will give us a baseline and we'll see how close we are. Say so, okay here. Then we're gonna go over here. I put 317 in here. I've made my speed 20, so it's not going too fast. And then we're gonna try and we're going to click up and that will turn the cup this way. And the idea is it should go all the way around and then land back on that line. So I'm gonna click it once and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click it. All right, that was pretty dang close. So we're actually probably just a little bit over on our steps since it's just a little bit past the laser beam. So we can try it one more time. Okay, 
So since we rotated just a little bit too far, I'm gonna go ahead, let's dial this down by 10. So let's do 20, 40. And we'll say, okay. Okay, now we're gonna test it one more time, see where we're at. Okay, that is almost dead on. I could probably drop just a little bit more, but for this demonstration, I think that's good enough. All right, so the idea behind this test is using the things that you know already. One, on the rotary, you have the wheels that you can get a measurement for, or it's been supplied for you. And then secondly, the diameter or circumference of your cup. You can enter either one of those measurements into your software and it will spit out the other. Um, once you do that, you are then testing. You use those same, the circumference as your distance. You make the cup spin, and if it's gone too far, you lower your steps per rotation. If it's not coming all the way to your start point again, then you need to increase your steps per rotation. And you continue testing until you get into the right spot and you are stopping on the same spot over and over again. Okay, well, there you have it. That's how you go through the process of doing the setup for one of these rotaries that is a roller, um, and then going through and trying to find the steps per rotation that you need for your machine and the roller that you have. Um, if you need any more information about actually engraving cups, things like that, you can head over to one of my other videos where I've actually done some engraving on tumblers and you can check those out there. Make sure you subscribe, like, all of that fun stuff, and we'll see you on the next one.